Captain, as it appears we may soon be embarking for a maximum security prison planet, I believe the crew would like to speak with you to, as you humans put it, air some concerns. Those board goons kidnapped Mr. Phineas and hauled him away to Tartarus. How are we gonna get him out? To extract the scientist, you will need to infiltrate the labyrinth. But that course of action is likely to be quite dangerous, Captain. It's a torment, Captain. Think on the deepest, darkest pit you can imagine and wrap it up in a storm so nasty it'll peel the skin right off your bones. That's Tartarus. Still, we can't do nothing. It wouldn't be right. The armed surveillance protocols on a maximum security prison planet are highly sophisticated. As such, escapes are historically quite impossible and deadly. I am programmed to warn you whenever you exhibit inclinations toward risky behavior. Breaking into Tartarus will not be easy. Getting in is the simple part. It's getting out again that's the trouble. Trust me, I know. Let's just do it. Kick down some doors, grab Doc Wells, and cut a path out. We don't need a plan. We got guns. If you really mean to do this, you should see to your final affairs and close out any unfinished business. Once you sneak into Tartarus, you may be there a while. Or permanently. It's the craziest plan I've ever heard. And I mean that as a compliment. You didn't hire me to think. And I ain't about to start now. You're my boss. And I'll walk into fire with you. I think it's insane. But maybe the colony needs a healthy dose of insanity right about now. I know it's dangerous. And I won't lie and say I'm not scared out of my wits. But I couldn't live with myself if we didn't do something. You're asking for more than bravery from us, Captain. But there are worse ways to go than dying for a good cause. I'm in. Let Sam get the grime out. It's what our units do best. The entire plan is a terrible idea, but I admire your bravado, Captain, which leads me to illogically believe, against the odds, that you will be successful. If we don't make it, at least it'll be a great story. Got my trusty tossball stick, got my ass kicking boots. I'm ready, boss. Outstanding. You can count on us, Captain. We're crew. For real crew. That means we got each other's backs. Right? Never thought I'd volunteer to break into a prison. Seems like your tendency towards risky behavior is rubbing off on me, Captain. Command not recognized. Waiting on your command, Captain. Something on your mind? I am pleased to inform you that we have arrived at the Labyrinth. Please be advised that the punishment for trespassing is execution. Please be advised that electrical storms on the surface of Tartarus make departure impossible at this time. Resident count is as follows. 3,071. Resident deaths, including but not limited to executions, are as follows. 1,684. Resident escapes are as follows. Zero. The interior can be chilly. Take a scarf with you, Captain. I would also ask that you leave your Captain's ID with me, in the event that you do not return. 
I can make the assurance that I will not leave with another captain unless you do not return within 876,541,652 hours. Oh, speak of the devil. Captain, I am receiving a transmission from the prison's docking authority now. Attention, unauthorized spacecraft. This is a maximum security installation. Your presence here is an explicit violation of UDL corporate policy. You are hereby confined to your docking platform until a ticket detailing your crimes has been filed and notarized, at which point your vessel will be seized and you will be executed. I wager it'll take a bit longer than it takes you to lose your patience and storm out of your ship looking to get shot. To be honest, that'd make my job a lot easier. You come out, we shoot you full of holes, and then everyone goes about their day worry-free. Except you. You'll be dead. Huh? Oh, yes, sir. Right away, sir. I just couldn't see you clearly before. Screen's on the fritz. Damn thing. But for the record, now that I hear you, I totally recognize you. Totally. You're, um, you, of course. Obviously. Anyway, Tartarus Docking Authority signing up. Hang on. Another ship just pulled into your dock. Wait, is that from the Groundbreaker? What the? Pay no mind to that. Just have a pleasant day. Transmission terminated. Biometric ID received. Transferring data to external cartridge. How can I be of assistance? May luck be with you. Of course, as I am sure you are aware, luck does not exist. But it seems to comfort humans to believe they possess good quantities of it. Nobody's ever broken out of the labyrinth. Didn't say nothing about breaking in, though. Lead the way, boss. I got your back.
your uniform has been raised. Are you new here? I didn't think we were hiring more staff. Oh, that's great. Thank you, sir. Much appreciated. I'll get out of your way. I'm working as fast as I can, all right? If y'all would quit bothering me, I'd get this done sooner. Fixing the FPS system. FPS system. It's redundant, Melody. Can you just let me work? I'm almost done. Forced pacification system. If the prisoners riot, we gas them. It went a little haywire after the last deployment, so here I am. Anyway, I need to finish this, so get out of here, will you? Ugh, what?
Ugh, what? Of course. Why? Oh, figures. It ain't like the place is on lockdown or anything. Hope they didn't rough you up on the way in here. The password is tartar sass. One word, all lowercase, have at it. Are you new here? I didn't think we were hiring more staff. Oh, no. Don't tell anyone, please. <sighs> Thank you. Let's go, troops. Stellar base counting on us.
Mass. Something about you doesn't look right. Yeah? You're not contagious, are you? Hey, keep your distance. I don't want to get sick. Look who it is. I'll be damned. I was prepping the studio for our announcement, and here you are as a bonus. And I see you brought the kid along. Babysitters may be expensive, but they're worth it, you know. Yeah, yeah, keep talking, pal. I'll just keep thinking of a place to bury your body. Ah, oh, and the wayward doctor. Are you about done with your escapades? We have faces that need lifting, after all. These days, I'm more interested in breaking them. Wouldn't mind taking a swing at yours. When you go off and get yourself shot, try to avoid taking one to the face. I'll want it recognizable to show to my citizens. Haven't you heard? Phineas is working for us now. It took some doing, but employing an efficient management strategy of putting our guns to his head seems to have done the trick. Yes, he is an extraordinarily obstinate fellow, isn't he? Fine, he isn't working for us per se. Semantics, he'll come around. But that's between us. As far as my adoring citizens will know, we've turned a dangerous crackpot into a working-class man. It's a miracle! Oh yes, go on, wake them up, add more mouths to feed! That'll solve our starvation problems. I don't know what half-baked plans that simpleton in a lab coat has been leading you through, but it's done. It's over. Let me ask you something, Captain. Have you at any point thought about not fucking up our entire society? Are you kidding me? We're out here trying to clean up your mess. I'm making actual progress towards stabilization and recovery. You're just getting in the way.
Oh, right. This coming from the psychopathic outlaw. Yes, I'll try to be more open-minded about your path of wanton dissent. We don't need your help. doing at the Ministry? Look, I'm not an unreasonable man. If you manage to storm the castle, as it were, and make it out of here with Phineas alive, uh, I can't exactly afford more havoc than you've already caused. Fine. If you survive, you'll need someone to sell the rest of the board on your plan. Are you out of your mind? Rockwell's the biggest monster in Halcyon. You got any idea how many lives he's destroyed? How many people he's hurt? I've had enough. You even think about cooperating with this... this... animal? And you and I are finished. You're damn right it is. Ugh, if you're gonna place more faith on this brat than the chairman of the fucking colony, then there's no hope for you. Go get yourself killed. I've got work to do. I've got work to do. Yeah, boss? Something on your mind? MSI. I'm not one for rousing speeches, but the captain needs our help. So get in there and fight!
Captain, you have an uncanny talent for complicating my life. You've been working with Dr. Wells from the beginning. When we moved to arrest him, he was prepared. I lost good soldiers in the attempt. You've disrupted the balance of power. You've upset the natural order of things. You've introduced uncertainty, and there is nothing I despise more than uncertainty. Typical. Running your mouth in the middle of a crisis. It's almost as if you delight in chaos. I should have dealt with you a long time ago. You were always too dangerous to leave unchecked. I was intrigued by your potential. I believed I could rely on you to help me save Halcyon. I was wrong. Leaving you alive was my greatest mistake, but it is a mistake I intend to correct. I have Dr. Wells in my custody. Once I've secured his cooperation, I can move forward with the program. I can repair the damage you've done. I can set things right. In that, we are in agreement. An end to violence is precisely what I want. An end to chaos. An end to senseless loss of life. The only obstacle standing in my way is you. You were one of my finest agents once. I don't want to destroy you. Turn yourself in, and I may yet show clemency. I don't, you perfidious turncoat. You know... Never mind. Now I regret saying anything at all. I had a feeling you'd say that. This prison is equipped with an auto-mechanical warden. I've had it programmed to eliminate you on site and rinse your remains down a drain. And don't worry. I will inform Dr. Wells that you died heroically, or something. Looks like we're doing the...
jackass! Come <laughs> on. 
Hmm. <laughs> 